to do. I, I could literally start immediately. A wing more I could start immediately. A wing more wit. How you like that, dude? A wing more wit. We on, baby. Yeah, it's real. For Black Peter. The, yeah, it's something like that. But they, well, that's the thing. They don't have black people really in Holland. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So I guess it's if like, you, yeah, we can just fucking do blackface. Yeah, listeners, if you want to get your blackface on, hit up Fly yeah. to Holland. I think, there's a, I think we got a <laughs> bunch might, of listeners that, that would love some blackface, dude. <laughs> that might be a stereotype. Cause, I mean, it might not be true because I remember we went to Texas um, when I was in high school. And we got off in like full on fucking cut sleeve flannels and shit. It was like me and my whole rugby team. We got off in cut sleeve flannels and hats and jeans, and people. We got off at like Fort Worth, and they're like, "What the fuck are you yeah, doing?" Yeah, of course. People are like, "We don't fucking." Wait, trust what does that have to do with Black Peter? You might get off in where was that at Denmark? Holland. You might get off at Holland in blackface, thinking everyone's down. Oh, and they might not be. Yeah, probably not. You might drop down in blackface. Probably like, not. What's up, boys? <laughs> yeah, dude. If you just show up in Amsterdam in blackface, <laughs> that's not good. Yeah, you can't. Do, uh, you know, try it out. Do half your face black. And I bet you can get away with it though. What, what's going to happen? Uh, fucking Holland? What's some fucking happen? Holland like person's gonna go on and be like, oh my god, bleh, yeah. bleh. you're definitely gonna get on like Holland. They are racist here, <laughs> and we are not happy. Yeah, Buzzfeed Holland. We love marijuana though. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck Holland's gay as fuck. The weed sucks in Amsterdam. Have you been there? Two of my boys. Have been, two fucking... of my boys have been there, and they're Damn, like, you the weed two, fucking sucks. Two accounts. Of course, dude. Many more of my boys have been there, but just two accounts. And the the sucks. consensus is weed sucks in Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam. It's fucking trash. Really? Compared to California grown weed, it's Ooh. fucking bullshit. What do you think of Cali weed, dude? It's fucking like Napa wine. It's the best on the planet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. man, we're here, dude. This is it. This we is both, the best. We both fucking jinxed on that. All oh, man. Yeah, we did. That's when you know the cast is firing hot. When we're fucking when we're both chasing. like when we finish a take and we're both like, oh man, oh man, oh, man. Hey. that's basically the uh, open mic equivalent of being like, all right, or yeah, being like, I don't know, um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty rough. <laughs> What's fucking burning the internet right now, dude? Right now is that fucking lady who got arrested outside of Helium. I know Helium She's Comedy Club viral, baby, million views. It's probably a two by now. Jesus Christ. Also. So here, the story is this lady got kicked out of a show and then there's a viral video of her out front being confronted by the police and managers of the club. Yeah. And her just fucking going off in the worst fucking accent of Philly possible. Oh, that was rough. It was it was rough. Kind of hot. I added to her hot marrier. You did. It's like you don't fucking know me then. Yeah, dude, dude, it was it was rough. She uh, she was pretty hot. She was super fucking hot. She knew, she knew what she was up to. She was yeah. smashing the patriarchy, dude. She saw Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman <laughs> earlier in the day. She was fired up. <laughs> she saw Wonder Woman. That's true. Sma that's the best way a chick... That's the closest they can come to smashing the patriarchy. Is just screaming in a Woman? cop's face. Oh, I think it's screaming Wonder in Woman. dude's faces. Yeah, but she miscalculated. She it was a black cop's face. Or it was a fucking Swede and blackface being a cop. It could have been a fucking Dutch. It could have been a fucking black black Nick or some shit. Whatever, black Peter. It could have been a fucking boy from Dude, Holland. The funniest is she was. It was like this drunk white lady versus a poised black cop. Trying to get her Black Lives Matter on it was she just was oh, all fucked up. She was up, going dude. for it. She was like, she's I, like, I'm a woman. Yeah, and he was like, Yeah, I'm a black guy. Yeah, I'm a black cop. I'm I have the worst <laughs> yeah, life ever you're right a now. Fucking, oh, dude, how <laughs> sick was it when she just announced where she worked? Oh yeah, then she announced her fucking job at the she news station. She also fucking added that because she fake spit in Nate's face, which was hilarious. Mm -hmm. And then while he was like. She was like, what? What am I getting arrested for? Yeah. And he was like, you just spit in that guy's face. He even said it like that. She yeah. was like, what? And he was like, you just fucking spit in that guy. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's like, no. What's yeah. the penalty for fake spitting? Yeah. I was pretending to. And then uh, she was like, I also punched a guy in the face in there. Are you going to write that down? And he was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, you just agreed to assault. You just admitted to assaulting someone. But dude, how about her fucking boyfriend, dude? Uh, her boyfriend. If you gotta watch the video, we'll pull put up the thing. But like her boyfriend, the whole time is just like walking up to the cop, uh, trying to shake his shook hand. The cop's hand it's, at the dude, beginning. The cop was like, I don't want the cop. Sickening. Everyone, dude. Every we had sources on the ground in there for first when like the bouncer they were fighting and everything. Everyone told this this guy just like, leave. dude, just fucking leave. Quit being a fucking bitch and grab your girlfriend and drag her out. None of us can do it. We'll get in trouble. Yeah, you can do it. Dude. Nut up. 
Drag her the fuck out. My bae would <sighs> never, ever do that. Caitlin, Caitlin would never, ever do that. But if she did, she would be in a fucking headlock. Oh. Getting drugged into that sushi store. Dude. Right next door immediately. They're like, get the hell out of here. I do what? God, you You can fucking I would take you can my do that to off. a Japanese man. What? The way she was treating those cops and managers. Well, you can scream at Japanese men like that. You definitely can. And there's also, well, there's also a lot of people don't know this. In every Japanese sushi restaurant, there's a special room in the back for drunk white women to sober up. You just bring your yep. girlfriend, you're like, deal with her. And they're yep. like, oh, that's and what they do is they lay them down on a table and put sushi on top of them <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. cart them into a businessman's <laughs> meeting <laughs> and sober them up, dude. That'll sober you up real quick. Once you meet the Tokyo partners. <laughs> <laughs> Once the CEO's licking fucking uh, spicy tuna roll off her pussy, they're like, oh, where am I? Like, you fucking don't act up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. dude. I don't know if I could do I would have been, I would have had a mankind, my sock would have been off and I would have mankind mandibled my girlfriend. You would have fucking mandibled her. Or, dude, if that, the only thing I was wondering about, if it was that guy was on an internet, like a first internet date, he should have been like, fuck it, I'm out of here. First Good internet luck. date, that would have been fucking sick. Dude, the fucking. I would have stuck around to see how that played out. I would have gripped her up. I, if, if that was the first internet date, date? no, you'd fucking walk her up. out of there. I would have picked her up, dude. I'm feisty, dude. You're I'm looking fucking, for an, I'm looking for an you're excuse, not bro. Wrestle a fucking internet date, dude. You don't think I would? <laughs> I know you wouldn't. I'll go I'll go out on one this week and wrestle her, dude. You're gonna wrestle an internet date. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Like how'd you like your dinner? It's like it was all right. I'll just fucking pull her down and fucking <laughs> <laughs> dunk her head in some soup. Hundred <laughs> percent, dude. I pretty dude. much fight I basically fight all my Tinder dates. Really? Mm? What's your record? Fucking undefeated. it. At the end of the night, they go for a kiss, and I just push them. I'm like, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Have we covered that we're live from the fucking basement? Yeah, we're in our new fucking location. This is live from my basement Ooh. bedroom in West Philly, baby. God damn, dude. Pitch black in here. God damn. I'm sleeping until 4 p.m. Yeah, you have to. But, dude, that was the Every one day. thing, too. <laughs> Everyone is talking about the girl. Like, she's disgusting. It's like, dude, the problem there is her fucking dude. Her guy was the problem. Well, you the saying that, that he said, you saying that is sexist? reasonably sexist. It is. It's but reasonably sexist. It's also true. Yeah. That's the guy's responsibility to be like, all right, that's if your chick is that out of sorts. Because the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the sanity expectation for men and women is different. For Women sure. can be insane, and everyone's like, oh, they shuffle. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Ah. Well, everyone lets it go because yeah. they're inferior. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> but no, it's totally different. If that guy yeah. had been doing that, he would have been the cops would have been there. He'd been tackled on the ground. Well, there's also there's also there's not a threat of real violence. Like if a girl's acting up like that, you're not worried. But even if a fucking she's harmless. But if there's a dude and he's small That's and frail, he's still gonna get the fucking business. No, if there's a little fucking no. Dude, he, if it, if a little dude gets got up in the bouncer's face, All right, let's like say the girl midget. did, if a midge, yeah, wow, if a midge, you dude, just you blew my mind. Pick him up. Put if him a outside. midge, well, you definitely, well, you put some velcro on yeah, him and throw him into like a, a fucking, fucking boss baby. Yeah, you just throw him into a fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> you take him into the Japanese place and they'd rent him out and the <laughs> businessmen would throw him against the wall. <laughs> oh, oh, oh very good. <laughs> oh, the midget is a good entertainment for the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's a guy tonight at Philly's Funniest that did a fucking harsh Asian accent. Did he really? It was so fucking funny. God damn. He was doing it. I was like, man, this guy's doing my whole fucking act. <laughs> this is my fucking, this is my whole act. He got up there and he was like, oh, <laughs> It was so fucking bad, dude. That's never not funny. If someone does that, I instantly laugh. It doesn't yeah, matter sure. where I am. For sure. Especially when it's bombing, dude. It's the oh, funniest it's the thing. Best. He was doing a bad, racist Asian accent to fucking oh. bombing. Oh. oh, man. That's my dad's top shit. If you go into a restaurant that's any... If you go into a restaurant that doesn't just sell like steaks and burgers, if it's any ethnicity, yeah. my dad just starts talking, whatever it is. Oh, man. Italian, he goes in, he's like, oh, mama me, mama me, <laughs> yeah, real loud. Me. You know, an Asian place, he's like, oh, they're very good. And you're like, dude, you're like, dude chill, man. Damn, that's you bad. You can't be doing it. <laughs> I made fun of my, my sister lived in New York for a while. Uh, After college, she lived in New York. And the first time I went up to visit her, fuck, I forget what it was. It wasn't quesadillas, but it was something. We went to a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. And she was like, I'll have the, oh, it was flautas. Is that a thing? A flautas, yeah. Yeah. She was like, uh, can <laughs> I, I don't get, know what they are. She was like, can I get an order of the flautas? And I was like, dude. Your sister said that? Katie. 
I was like, what the fuck was that? You live in a city for a fucking year and all of a sudden you're like cultured? Get the fuck out of here. She's like, can I have an order of the flotas? Oh, I was like, so don't fucking ever fucking funny. do that. Never do that. I'll fucking order quesadillas. Hell yeah, dude. Before I fucking say the dia. My mom says sal- salsa. Good. Mom's Show like, some respect some to their salsa. culture. Exactly. Just stay out of it. Dude, We uh, when I worked at a taco truck, people would come up. There would be dudes who come up like, I'll have uh, two tacos. Same thing. It's unbelievable. We had a guy one time who, so my brother bought the truck off of a guy who used to sell only vegan food out of it. Let me get a sidey. And he didn't paint it. Grab one. I gave you one right there. Oh, you already crushed it? Dude, you're a fucking sidey monster. <laughs> Careful with those things, dude. You're going to get drunk. I'm not going to get drunk off sidey. They're fucking high ABV. They're not like those beers you used to drinking. Shut the fuck That's up. That's fucking fire water, dude. They gave those things to the Native Americans, dude. They fucking went crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, so the... Uh, Do a Native American impersonation real quick before you tell the story. Home. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, on the spot, I knew it was going to be so bad. If you ask anybody to do an impersonation on the spot, it's terrible. Yeah, plus the Native... I never talk like a Native American. Yeah, Native American stuff. I'm trying to think of it right now. Whoa, the sky is very good. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like an old white guy all whacked out. The white man came and gave us fire ciders. That was good. <laughs> yeah, that gave was pretty us good. Cides. Cides. <laughs> they promised us many things, the pale face. But the cides destroyed our land. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> Too many cides. They made our women loose and reckless. <laughs> Dude, the Native Americans were the best. You think they're the best? No, they're the worst. Go ahead. Sorry. I mean, story? they're chill. Oh, no, they're so pieces of shit. We'll get we'll get to those they're fucking savages. boys. We'll get to those boys. That was they, on the last history lesson. What about the savages? The savages, dude. I, I, dude, I know <laughs> oh, we covered this. God. I went on a fucking an hour rant the last time we did a week ago tonight. Yeah, actually a week ago at exactly this time I was hammered talking about like think how shitty. Native yeah. Americans had to be. If those retards coming over here were like, these guys are savages. Yeah, yeah. They're if we, savages. If we Bill and Tedded right now to like last week, we'd be like, guys, stop. This isn't going to work. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go oh, back. So, oh, the taco truck. So, mm-hmm. my brother bought it off a guy who only sold vegan food. Gay? So, yeah, 100% gay. And uh, <laughs> What type of fucking truck like, fuel did he use? Huh? Diesel. <laughs> his used, his car, course. he did build v- diesel fuel into his car. Yeah, of course. Funny. What a fucking bitch. I know, dude. Fucking ruining the economy with that shit. And uh, <laughs> fucking, So like, my brother had the same paint job and everything, and we were parked. We were selling tacos. And uh, this guy like was like, oh, hell yeah, man. Uh, I fucking love you guys. And we're like, it's our second week. We're like, I don't remember this guy. So we're like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, let me get two chicken tacos. So he crabs them. This guy bites into him. He's like, dude, these are the best fucking chicken tacos I've ever had. Blah, blah, blah. I've never gotten vegan chicken like this. And we're both like, uh. I was like, yo, bro. It's not vegan chicken. He was like, he started spitting it out. Dude, it was the best thing I've ever seen. That is so great. I've never been happier. Fuck, dude. How gay was he? Such a pussy. What was he wearing? He like tried to blame me. He's like, what the fuck? I'm like, dude, that was a pure transaction, dude. That that's what welcome to the fucking world, dude. That's welcome. what that's what you're missing. You fucking Will Smith them, dude. That's what exactly. It's you like you're, said, that's what you're missing out on just so you can fuck chicks with hairy armpits. You said welcome to Earth. Welcome to Earth. And you fucking hit him with a chicken taco. No, I was Jaden. I was the son. You Jaden did? My brother was Will. I was Jaden. True. I was like, fuck you, I'm gonna run out of here and go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the cast is hot, dude. The cast is fucking hot as shit. It's fifteen minutes exactly. This is good. Great. How about cast. that fucking uh so we've been we've been pretty Islamophobic last episode. Oh yeah, Forgot as people would say. I watched uh, and I sent you that. Did you watch any of that? How much of that did I you watch? Watched the first five minutes and I shut it off. Oh really? I was, was furious. Why? Oh, how fucking gay those dudes were. Yeah. All right. So there's a there's a free documentary on YouTube. It's called uh, I think it's called the Jihadist Next Door, and uh, it was in England, Channel Four in in England, on the BBC. And uh, it's just about a group of fucking radical Muslims mm-hmm. in London. They're fired up. They're so fucking gay, dude. Yeah, they're fucking assholes. And here's, here was what was what was funny to me, and this is actually gonna take back my homo- uh, homophobia, Islamophobia. Not a little yet. Bit. That's still to it's be little, fucking taken down. <laughs> it's gonna take my Islamo- Islamophobia back. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus. It's all a couple the same sides, dude. I got a couple I, of Dude, I told the, you they'll get the you. The fire sighties uh, ruined <laughs> my voice. The white Actually, face came in and gave me a sighty and warned me. <laughs> he vaped in my face. We traded him many squaw for sighties. <laughs> so what happened? They're, so, they're, these guys I, are no, but dicks. it's like it was like fucking 12 dudes. Yeah. It, it, it's not like a fucking and then they would like try to talk to other Muslims and every single time they like set up shop, they're basically the Westboro Baptists, except uh, except that they follow through with it. Yeah, be like that's the, the be like if the Westboro Baptist actually beat up gay people and then yes, like yes, yes. blew them up. Other than like, so yeah, so there's like twelve fucking douches, like poor fucking, clearly mentally unstable fucking like losers. And it's funny now that they have like now that they speak English, yeah. you can hear them talking. You can hear how fucking stupid they are. Yeah, and like unstable, and they're like the one guy laughs all the time nervously, and uh, uh. they all like skirt the law. Like, because in England, it's illegal to say, I support ISIS. Yeah. I mean, it's probably illegal here, but it's definitely illegal in England. You, you can't do that here either. Uh, you might be able to. To say, you, I, dude. You can fucking toss up a fucking tweet swastika. That, tweet that right now. No, but I mean, I mean, you, you'd be on a list, but true in England and like, I mean, in Germany, it's illegal to fucking put up a swastika. Like, yeah, it's true. Europe's actually much more strict when it comes to the yeah freedom of speech than we are. That's true. Like here, you can put up a fucking... We could probably fly an ISIS flag. Wouldn't go too well. Yeah. Uh, you're, but, yeah, you're right. You're on to something. I see what but, you're saying. Yeah, you can hang up a swastika. And can you? Legally, yes. I, had, I mean, I used to have some sweatpants. I had a couple on the knees, but I had a sour. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's just funny to see these fucking... They, they are Westboro Baptists. Like, they just set up shop in the middle of a mall, and they're like... Uh, fucking yeah. Islam is the number one religion. Uh, everybody else is like, fucking gay, and everybody up. that even Muslims, everyone else is gay. Muslims just walking past them, just like, dude, shut the fuck up. You guys suck. But you can't tell those guys to shut the fuck up. So chop your head off. Those guys, however, like one of them, if you keep watching that documentary, one of them was associated with a terrorist attack that just happened in London. Yeah. One oh, of the fucking dudes, car and the knife. Car and knives. One of them was in that, and then the other one became the new Jihadi John. Which is the guy who is like the star of the ISIS videos executing people? A so, bunch of fucking losers. But they are, dude. There's a white rapper that's part of their squad. Get him the fuck there's out a of here. Fucking white they dude. Should, they should. They should shoot converted. that guy. They should just totally go down there and just shoot that guy and be like, dude. Do I know. That. I know. And the, the problem is, is we're too lenient. Like, because legally, you have to let them do that. Yeah. Legally, if we if we allowed the government to just be like. Yeah, go fucking kill those guys. Yeah, then it's like... Then where, it opens Pandora's box to be like... Where does it stop? Yeah, there's also two fucking hate mongers dropping sick casts every weekend. Yeah, next we thing get you rounded know, up. Next thing you know, a fucking flashbang is rolling down the steps. <laughs> you and me are getting fucking shot in the head, dude. Nah, dude, this is pure Americana, dude. They, this is. We'd be fucking... We're probably an advisor Trump by now. Trump would be all over this. Now it's time to get it drunk. Get it drunk. Get it drunk.